Hello everyone, I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm with Tian Chu, CEO and Chairman at Invian Limited. Now Invian is a life sciences company with global research in photosoft technology for treating various cancers and other infectious diseases. Here at Calkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. Welcome Tian, it's great to speak with you today. Thanks Rachel, pleasure to be here. Now, first off, congratulations on expanding photo softer technology territory for cancer indications with your new conditional agreements with RMW Cho Group. What can you tell us about the importance of this deal? Yeah, so so Rachel, it's uh, it's it's important for us because uh, historically, Indion has had a territory which is uh, for cancer has been limited to Australia and New Zealand which as you know, is about 30 million uh, people in terms of a market uh, size. Now, what we have with the new um, uh, conditional agreement is the capacity to increase that to an addressable market of over 2 billion people. So what that means is um, with each of the developments we have on the cancer and other disease areas is we multiply the potential impact and market address. Excellent. Now, could you tell me in a bit more detail with such a, such a huge expansion, how the company intends to meet these expansion needs? Well, we just uh, raised a uh, 12 million round, uh, including an SPP that's uh, in market right now. And really, it's it gives us the capacity to have flexibility. Now, we're not changing our original uh, development program, particularly in cancer, which, which actually in Australia and New Zealand is, is fully funded by um, RMW Cho Group. And so we kind of write off the, uh, uh, the tails of that. What this new capital does is it gives us flexibility to continue some of that work outside Australia and New Zealand in our new territories and, and build upon the work that we're already doing in, uh, in, this, in Australia and New Zealand. Now, Inbion has set some ambitious goals, especially for its photo soft technology. What can you tell me about the future plans? Yes, it's a really interesting time for us now. We just, uh, as we, as you know, we announced uh, some uh, pilot uh, proof of concept studies uh, showing some, some interesting aspects to um, our technology. Uh, we tested on uh, uh, mice with uh, triple negative breast cancer and when we treated them with photosoft technology, we actually found that the tumor went away and there was no scarring. Now, on top of that, we actually tried to re-implant a tumor in the same mice and they wouldn't grow a black back. So that shows some interesting uh, sort of protective immunity that's occurring. So what that means is that um, We've demonstrated in one um, solid tumor model that actually there's some some, some interesting things happening with um, with not just ablation of a tumor but actually the protective ongoing immunity. And when you think about our application, is not just one type of cancer but multiple types of cancer. And now we've expanded beyond just Australia, New Zealand, but to include also um, large parts of Asia Pacific. It, it starts opening up the horizons here. And, and that's really where we're going to be taking it um, going forward. And triple negative breast cancer is so hard to treat. It's one of the known to be hard to treat cancers. And often chemotherapies can fail when um, attempting to treat it. Now, Invion's INV043, as you mentioned, proved successful in regressing cancer in the mice that were studied, um, as was indicated by the latest proof of concept studies. So with this, what is Invion's next step within this particular research area? Yeah, it's a great question. We actually have a couple of um, um, areas we want to move forward with on the cancer side. The first one is to show it works on another type of cancer in a mouse. And uh, because one of our core tenants is that we're not just focused on one cancer type, 
uh, we believe our technology can apply to multiple cancers. So that's number one. Number two is the uh, obvious question that everyone has is when are you going to get to the clinic? And we um, announced recently that we're looking to um, initiate clinical trials in more than one indication of cancer next year. So that's that's our 2022 sort of objective. Fabulous. And, and cancer research is obviously very capital intensive. How are you financially placed to advance the initial studies and clinical trials? Yeah, that's a great question. We've been thinking about it for, for, for a long time, actually. Uh, one of the great things we have is our partnership with RMW Cho. So, so a lot of the preclinical work we've done and even all the clinical trial work we'll be doing in Australia and New Zealand um, will be fully funded by the RMW uh, Cho Group for our cancer work. So that really de-risks a lot of the effort for us, gives us a lot of great data and great progress. Now, once we've de-risked it, we can actually take it to the next level which is essentially uh, using the funds we have to do further trials in other countries within our territory. So a lot of the risk, higher risk capital intensive uh, work will already have been done in Australia by that time. And therefore we can make sure that the capital we have raised, we used on very targeted high potential and high impact uh, 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 initiatives. What market opportunities and growth potential do you see in the atherosclerosis and infectious diseases area? Yeah, that's actually where there's a there's potentially even a, a larger prize. Um, you know, atherosclerosis is one of the key um, uh, tenets of uh, heart disease, which kills two to three times as many people in uh, in the world and cancer itself, and. Asia as a general market has an unusually high level and a, many, a lot of it's linked to lifestyle and uh, environment. And so that could potentially be a new treatment um, a modality that could be quite helpful for people um, you know, suffering from heart disease. And so we're really excited about that. Um, obviously with infectious diseases, we've been living uh, the last couple of years with one type of infectious disease. And so with having um, infectious diseases covering not just viruses, but bacteria, parasites, fungal infections, it really opens a very large um, uh, group of possibilities. Now, we're in a much earlier stage of discovery in these stages. So, so the next you know, period of time, we're really gonna be uh, looking at uh, where this could be um, initial proof of concept, initial sort of in vitro tests that don't take a lot of time and effort, but let us uh, do a large portfolio of testing to see where ultimately we want to focus our attention um, to the next stage. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of um, uh, a large portfolio that will narrow down to those that we think have high potential. Absolutely. You obviously have multiple pathways and to develop technology for a range of cancers and other diseases. So where do you see yourself in the next 12 months? Okay, so 12 months time, this time next year, um, what we're looking to achieve is firstly on the cancer side, we want to be in the clinic. We want to have at least initiated um, more than one clinical trial. And that should be really exciting for us because that's when the rubber hits the road. We'll, we'll, we'll really see where that technology can take us. And then number two, we hope that this time next year, we'll have you know a, a small number of targets um, where we've done that initial testing on both the atherosclerosis as well as the infectious diseases side and potentially have some really interesting uh, uh, targets that we can we continue to develop in, in future years, which then gives us kind of a nearer term as well as a longer term portfolio of um, our potential uses and, and, and opportunities. Well, best of luck over the next few months, Tian, and thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate it. Thank you. And with that, I will sign off for today, but watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.